Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you need to connect your Namecheap domain to a GoDaddy hosting? In this video, we'll show you how to integrate your domain with your GoDaddy hosting account, ensuring a smooth setup for your website. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. In this video guys, we will need to get a GoDaddy hosting in the Namecheap domain. So let's start with a GoDaddy hosting. Simply go to godaddy.com and right after that, go to this menu which is going to be in the top and you will find their hosting and security. Click on the first thing and choose web hosting and right after that you will be able to see this plan. So now since we did that, go all the way down and all of these are the available plans that we have. Now depending on what is the goal of your domain and what kind of website you want to build, you will have here variations of hosting that you can go for. For example here, there's the web hosting economy. This one will be one website, 10 databases, 25 gigabytes in VME storage, shared RAM and vCPU, resources and free domain, free email, free SSL certificate, 30 day money back guarantee and with a free WordPress migration tool. We will have here also Web Hosting Deluxe. With a 3 years term you pay 287.64 today renews at 503.64. So you, you gotta check the prices guys always because this is just like the price of a, 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 like there is a term in here so these prices are pretty cheap for a reason they are going to be taking you with them with a trip for three years so make sure to check always these little phrases that are below the next to the prices because there is a contract there where you cannot really just pay seven dollars per month and go out no there is like a contract that says that you'll have to pay it for a continuously uh, three years so put that in mind and yeah that's pretty much it now since you want to buy for example this website we are going to use one domain name so let's go with buy now then after that you have to go to the cart click on the checkout page which will be in the cart itself so we just have to wait here uh choose whatever plan you would like to go for these and once you feel like you're done uh remove this one remove that one so you can get everything uh, set up there we go and continue to cards and this is the total money that you will have to pay so for us it's 215 dollars so let's go with 16 months for example activate rewards continue and now they are going to refresh the price for us and then we simply have to go ahead and put the promo code in its place and then we could say we are ready to pay so have a promo code in case you have honey you could use it to get some kind of coupon code that you can use within GoDaddy and basically buy the plan with it now since we have bought the GoDaddy domain after of course you just have to simply put your credit card information and a couple of address information etc you'll be able to own the domain now the same thing for the namesheep domain or like uh, I mean the hosting here so here we are going to talk about domains so go to the namesheep go to domain and click on domain name search after that you will be taken to this page where there will be a couple of various plans so here there is these six uh, domains that are pretty much popular at the moment and here you will find the deal so after clicking here you will find like the top deals the most that has the most uh, discounts for example here there is 79 discounts of 93 97 and so go on now to get a domain we simply have to write here anything that can be used for our domain just like for example so usually we use a brand name for example because for example Nike it's gonna be Nike.com but of course we don't own Nike so we're gonna we have to use our own domain name so let's try to just create one so just 4g okay this is uh, this is something good so this is just 4g.com uh, it has all of these variations of domains and these domains will vary from price to another so it can start from 
basically 0 0.98 dollar to up to like thousands of thousands of dollars depending if in case there was uh, a domain name that has been taken so you have to put an auction uh, put money in it and you're gonna be paying more than the price of the actual domain when it was bought in the first place because you know the, you you want that domain badly so you have to pay money for it uh, anyway uh, and also the domains will vary in the price for example dot com will not be the same as dot org it will not be the same as dot net it will not be the same as dot ai why so basically because for example that ai is nowadays the trend so when you are trying to find dot ai um it's basically not gonna be the same price that it come for example here as you can see that AI is around $80 per year and uh for dot com it's only nine dollars per year so it's like ten times more expensive than uh, uh, like dot com and uh, now to buy it you simply have to add to cart go to checkout page and simply buy it now how can we connect the domain of Nameship with the hosting uh, in GoDaddy well First of all, you have to open your dashboard in Nameship and go ahead and follow these steps. So guys, it is pretty simple, I'm just going to follow these steps. So first of all, there is two ways that you can do that. The first thing is by going to your domain, so click on manage, and you will have here custom DNS. After that, you have to put the name server number one and the name server number two that you will find in your hosting on GoDaddy. That would be provided by GoDaddy. So simply just go to your hosting and paste them right here, as you can see, and that would be it. After that, click on this save button and you will be good to go. Now, what if you didn't uh, or you don't want to go through this way, you wanted to put uh, custom DNS or defense DNS, then simply go with Nameship. Uh, basic DNS save and go to advanced DNS right through here after you do so let me just go back here because it didn't save uh, all right now let's go back to advanced DNS and as you can see the page has been changed so what we can do is to simply go here and add the uh, the records so we have C names uh, a record etc etc so here you'll find the host and the value so make sure to put them right here so you should add here the host add the value of it and then click on this check mark or save changes save all changes and you will be able to actually add them right in there so this is pretty simple there will be a couple of a records that you have to add in a couple of c name depending on the godaddy host or uh, godaddy hosting if they are going to give you several ones so make sure to all put them in here and once you're done click on save all changes wait a couple minutes and refresh the page and you will find that they are connected and you can now directly write your domain name in url and connect to that hosting and thank you guys all for watching see you guys in the next tutorial